Hello there, welcome to my channel. My name is Doug and I'm back with another Apple Bomb Slices quick pen review. This one's got to be quick today because this pen has already been sold and it goes in the mail in minutes. So I quickly grab my camera, going to take a look at this beautiful pen and do some writing samples. We have the Pin and Farina and nothing else, just a Pin and Farina. Oh, there we are. This is the PF1, okay, in silver. I have the PF2, so I'll be interested to compare this because I really like the PF2. And we have a triangular box and a booklet from Pininfarina, PF1, Pininfarina, warranty limited, 12 months. And this is magnetic, yep, magnetic closure and a faux suede interior, a standard international cartridge and the pen. Take a good look at this. And what do we have here? Get the right angle of light here. Now you can't see it at any angle. There we go. And that says, I believe it says, Pin and Farina. And that clip is embedded in the cap. And it says, we have a logo on the top. Yeah, the Pin and Farina logo. Triangular shape. This is anodized aluminum. It's very light. And we have an end finial chrome dot pull. I think that's magnetic. No, nope, it's a clip. Yeah, that's a clip. And we have a very tiny, slick chrome section which has flats on it. So it follows that kind of feel of the triangular body with a triangular grip. And we have the Pin and Farina logo on a number five size steel nib. It says M on the feed, so that means it's a medium and it would be a cartridge converter because it came with a cartridge. And there's the cartridge converter. The screw-in type, so it's a screw-in type with a reinforced nipple converter. That's upscale. And that thread has to line up. Yeah, so the whole pen lines up top to front. So yeah, all those threads have to line up properly. And how does that clip work now? Oh, there we go. You turn the clip around and then it works. So maybe you turn the clip around when you're writing, but it doesn't post. So I'll have to figure out this fountain pen, how practical it is, but uh, very ingenious. All the stuff from Pin and Farina is always very ingenious. Cool pen. This is the Pin and Farina PF1 fountain pen. I'll show it here to you while I'm reading what Applebaum's website says about this pen. Triangular section, aluminum body for perfect ergonomics, integrated rotating clip, always ready to be pinned. The Pin and Farina PF1 fountain pen is an extremely functional object obtained through precision mechanics that redefines the canons of fountain pens. An exclusive object in terms of design, technology, and utilization in which every single detail has been studied in relation to its function. Welcome to the new era of design writing. Creations dedicated to those who believe in design is a projection of their own personality and designed by those who have made design a source of pride all over the world. The Pin and Farina PF1 fountain pen has a stainless steel nib and uses a cartridge converter filling mechanism. Okay, so there's a lot of boilerplate there about Pin and Farina, but let's take a look at this pen. It is a slimline pen. I want to compare it right away with my Pin and Farina 2. Here's this, and you can see this review by clicking right up here. Uh, this was provided by Applebaum to me for review, and I just love this pen. It's like a race car. It has some peculiarities to it, but I'm really enjoying writing with this pen. Again, anodized aluminum. This one's heftier and thicker. Magnetic cap has a thicker section and a larger nib. This one has a click cap, a relatively slick chrome section that has flats on it on both sides. So it's very, it's triangular in shape, following the shape of the body, which is a uh, triangle with the edges eased off. The number five size steel nib, in this case, it's a medium. Mentioned it has the cartridge converter, standard international, and an O-ring right there to keep it from unscrewing during use. The pen is very, very light and slim in the hand. Has really, really nice ba balance to it. It does not post. 
and there is a medallion on the bottom finial. The nib units unscrew for replacement. The top finial has the Pininfarina logo on it and the clip rotates around like that so you can use it in your shirt or on a piece of paper or whatever. It's fairly springy and very very slim so I wouldn't put it on anything too thick. But you click the pen closed and slide that clip around the back whenever you want to engage the clip. Otherwise, it just goes away. Very clever design. Now let's do some writing with this. Because this pen has been sold, I'm not going to fill it up with ink, but I'm going to dip test it in some Waterman's Serenity Blue. So here we go with the Pininfarina PF1. This is a medium steel number five size nib. And of course the ink, as you saw, is Waterman's Serenity Blue. Serenity Blue is my go-to for some, an ink that is not going to be dangerous to any single fountain pen and it cleans up nicely. Let's check the wetness. This is nice wet nib and it's ultra smooth and it has a, a pencil on vellum kind of nice feedback. I found that with my PF2 as well that the nib has a real good amount of feedback to it. If you like feedback, like platinum nibs have that feedback, then you'll love this Pininfarina. It's a line variation, you can push out a little bit, but it's not a flexible nib. And I must say, for a slim pen, and I'm not usually fond of slim pens, this is very nice. And that section, that triangular section, I usually hate triangular sections, but I can't even feel the triangle on that. It just sort of fits in my hand perfectly. And you have to rotate it a little bit to feel that there are some, some soft edges there. And that triangle fits perfectly in my hand. For those of you that need a pen to be posted, this is a non-starter for you because the pen does not post. Beautifully light in the hand, beautifully balanced. That body right there with my thumb against it is perfect. So I'm actually delighted about this little fountain pen. I thought that I wouldn't like it at all, but it has surprised me. I didn't show, but it does say Pin and Farina on the barrel. You have to get the light just right. Very, very finely engraved in that anodized aluminum cap. So there you have it. Thanks go out to Yoast Applebaum for providing this pen to Stephen Brown for review. You can see his review in the description below. And to Stephen for sending it on to me for my review. And to the new owner of this pen, congratulations. It's a gorgeous pen. You'll really enjoy this. Let me know in the comments below how you like your pen. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to ring that bell to get instant notifications whenever a new video is posted. And you can join as a member of my channel for only 99 cents a month, less than the price of coffee. And you'll get cool emojis, badges, sneak peek unboxing videos, as well as instant access to my videos the moment I post them. And that just leaves it for me to say... Thank you for watching. And that's all she wrote. I made this.